microphone, but Mashara, as you know, qualified for the New York State Track and Field Championships in pole vault. She left Friday morning and she jumped 10 feet 6 inches at the state tournament this weekend. I ask you for practice and hard work, he was nominated to the second team honors in league, voted on by opposing coaches. His skills were noticed highly by other coaches. He not only commanded the respect of his teammates, but his opponents as well. He will be participating in the Chautauqua Cataraga Senior All-Star Game this week. Good luck. Uh, with great honor and pleasure, I'd like to award this to Xander Edstrom.
She was involved in track, basketball, and soccer. Uh, her soccer coach said one of the most difficult, challenging positions to be in in a skilled-based sports team uh, is that a brand with a brand new athlete. This player joined soccer, their soccer team in her junior year, although she struggled at first with some of the skills or hard work uh, and never give up attitude certainly affected how quickly she caught on. When her play was struggling in certain situations, she would listen to constructive criticism with grace and would return to the field with new focus and determination. She is the type of player that would knock down an opponent in a game and she would uh, stop playing to help her up. Sometimes uh, was the player, um, okay, gotta find my place here. With the Okay, she jumped up very quickly and resumed play. She is one of the most dependable and hardworking athletes on the team. Her single goal last season uh, and this season was one of the favorites of her teammates. Due to her uh, caring and sweet disposition, her hard work and passion for success, her teammates were so excited for her. These uh, qualities are what make her so deserving of this award. Thank you for your respect, your responsibility, and your hard work and your true warrior spirit. In basketball, I had the pleasure of coaching uh, this young lady for the past two years. I will miss her a lot next year. She was a great asset for the basketball team this year. She made league honorable mention. She averaged four points and three, bound, three rebounds per game. Uh, she played uh, with tremendous heart and passion and exhibited great character throughout the season. She led by example and was extremely positive. And your coach was I'd like to congratulate you. Uh, for track, uh, she was the only, uh, only had one season with the girls track team, but it certainly uh, has been impactful. When she comes to mind, I think enthusiastic, cheerful, team player, responsible, trustworthy, and an overachiever. She is one of the most coachable student athletes I have had uh, the pleasure to work with. She has had perfect practice attendance coming each day with a smile on her face, ready to do whatever uh, it was someone asked her to do. Her optimism on life is refreshing. She always gives her best and finds a way to be a role model uh, and a role player in, in the success of her team. She has the incredible tenacity and she takes the field, as she takes the field, she competes with uh, heart of a champion and is the obvious she never considers getting up regardless of the circumstance. She is an inspiration to her teammates, her classmates and friends, and to any fan that has, uh, that has watched her. I know she will find success in the world of sports at some level and she, as she pursues a college career. And we would like to thank Amber McGonigal. <laughs> seasons and was a first team all-star every season. The past two seasons he was team and league MVP. His 736 series this past season is a new school record. His, two th his 206 average is the best average in school and league history. The team success was his priority and the Warriors were very successful. Three league championships, 127 wins and nine losses two second place finishes at sectionals and one section, sectional championship. Coach Jankowski states, he understands the game better than anyone and practices more than anyone. He has won thousands of dollars in scholarship money and will be the first male bowler uh, going to college for bowling. He is one of, if not the greatest bowler in school history. 
He also participated in football, was a starter in the last two years, and had a wonderful baseball season as uh, we just attested with Mr. Nannan and the Harry Nelson Award, and we would like to call to the stage Xander Eskin. young lady has participated in four sports, soccer, lacrosse, basketball, and softball. And as a soccer player, even though she was uh, a defender by nature, this player had no problem becoming an offensive leader on the girls' soccer team this year. After the first game, she suffered an injury that forced her to sit out three games. Even coming back at about 75 to 80%, we were a different team uh, with her on the field. A lot of that goes to those assisting uh, in goals in the season. This player led the team in assists. She plays the game with no nonsense type of attitude. She is a physical and will win the uh, ball in the air as a header or on the ground with a slide tackle if necessary. She's literally played almost every position on the field, from goalkeeper to stopper, to center, mid, and occasionally as a striker. Her hard work and success over her varsity career has led to an additional, to additional recognition. She was a CCAA Eastern Division Honorable Mention in 10th grade and second team All-Star her junior and senior years. Her leadership on the defense was crucial towards the 2014 team being league champions in sectional finals. Thank you for your dedication, passion, and true leadership to the game of soccer. In basketball, she was an important part of our basketball team. She led by example by working hard every single day in practice, being extremely competitive and never give up even when things are going tough. Her hard work and dedication will make her very successful. I really enjoyed coaching her this past year and then miss her next year. Congratulations and uh, good luck in the future. And in softball, she was a five-year starter for the SHS varsity softball team. In eighth, in eighth grade, she earned the most improved player. In ninth grade, she was the team MVP and CCAA first team all-star. As a sophomore, she earned the team's most dedicated award and second team CCA All-Star. As a junior, she earned honorable mention for the CCA East. Um, as a senior, unfortunately, she suffered a season-ending injury on the cross field and only played in softball's first game, which she dominated shortstop and led us to a win over Ellicottville. She was selected to several all-tournament teams. She has an outstanding work ethic proven leadership skills, can play any position on the field, and was willingly offered to play wherever she is needed. Her softball and athletic skills are phenomenal. Congratulations and thank you for your leadership and dedication to the varsity softball team. She also participated in our first ever girls lacrosse team this year. And we would now like to bring to the stage for the Anita Award, Boiler, the Anita Boiler Award, Megan Mark.
Okay, moving on to our Male Athlete of the Year Award. And this is a, an award uh, that we call the Lewis Foy Award for our Male Athlete of the Year. Uh, this young man was involved in five sports this past year. He was in soccer, he was in basketball, he was in golf, bowling, and tennis. Um, He's a soccer player, uh, Michael, obviously. <laughs> Y'all knew it. I don't know how you knew that. Anyways, um, as a soccer player, he played uh, several years on the varsity level. And then as a basketball player, uh, Mike was a two-year varsity basketball captain and a two-time CAA East one All-Star. He was the only member of the varsity boys basketball team to be named to the New York State Scholar Athlete and was named most valuable through the program by Coach Bennett, an award that's only been given twice in the program's history. He is an example for all our athletes to follow. He always puts his team first, never complains to coaches, teammates, or opposing players, and consistently strives to improve. Uh, his switch to point guard, which was the equivalent of being a quarterback on the basketball team, is the big reason our program won its most games in over a decade this year. As a bowler, this athlete was a four-year starter for the Warriors bowling team that won four league titles and one sectional title in five years. He bowled his best in tournaments and sectionals he was named the first team All-Star for the 2016-17 season. He was a pleasure to coach. He was always a class act and was a huge part of the team's success over his career. As a golfer, he was a three-year starter. He complete, uh, competed in the sectional qualifiers the past two seasons and was named honorable mention for the league All-Stars. In tennis, uh, Mike was a five-year starter. He played first doubles in eighth grade and was the first singles 9 through 12. He competed at the county championships all five years. He was a team leader and a great role model for our younger players. I certainly uh, miss him uh, greatly next year in all of the sports that he's uh, participated in. So at this time, I'd like to call Michael Collins to the stage. And the team Today. We will be having a picture with the Salamanca Press, so uh, please, at the conclusion of the Moving Up Day, make sure you get back together with me so that we can get that picture taken for the uh, media. Okay, lastly, I would like to take this opportunity to thank several people who are so vital in the operations of Salamanca Athletics. First of all, I'd like to thank Mrs. Poshin, who worked so hard. Uh, handling the paperwork, contact information, and day-to-day -day operations in the athletic department. Mrs. Fox is not here, but let's give her a round of applause. I would like to take the time to thank my staff of supervisors, scorekeepers, clock keepers, announcers, etc. Anybody that's been involved with that, they know what the time and energy it takes, but I'd like to thank them and a lot of them are these people and several of you guys out in there in the uh, crowd so uh, give a round of applause for yourself. I would like to take the time to thank Bob Finch and all the bus drivers that transport our athletic teams for our weight contests. Transporting students on a bus is a big responsibility and I want to thank all of them for the time and patience getting us to and from our contest. And I will, I will tell you one story, a short story. Back in 1999, 
I'm going to the state tournament for football. And I went to a secure bus at the bus garage. You know what they told me? They said, hey, Mr. Moore, they said, we might not be the pride of the school, but without, without us, the pride don't ride. So thank you to the bus drivers. And lastly, I'd like to thank Rich Minkowski, the maintenance staff for preparing our athletic fields, courts, pool, for all the athletic programs here at SHS. They do an outstanding job maintaining all our fields and having them ready to play week in and week out. I would just like to thank everyone that's been involved in our athletic programs, our administration with Mr. Cooper, Mr. Siebert, uh, from the top down, we couldn't do it without you. And congratulations to everybody that won awards, and thank you. Let's move on.